Good morning, beautiful. Yes, I'm talking to you. Wow, what a morning I am having here. I watched the sunrise come up. Didn't watch the sunrise come up. I watched the sunrise. I watched the sun come up. I did my sitting practice and the clouds were just changing colors and it's just beautiful. Watch the light change on the trees. It feels like spring here today. Not like December 14th. There's no wind here. It's warm. The birds are chirping. <sighs> you know, there's an aliveness and there's a stillness. There's a contentedness maybe, just like a, ah. Oh. Well, maybe that's just how I'm feeling. I think my little corner of Mother Earth here is feeling that too. So I grew up in a conservative Christian Mennonite home that I personally found very damaging. I have healed a lot of those wounds. Anyways, one of the reasons that I just was not able to connect with the church and with that faith or religion or whatever you want to call it is because they are right and everyone else is wrong. Um, in order to be a good Christian, you were called to spread, spread Christianity, right? Tell others about it. And it just, it made me feel sick. You know, the thought of trying to put myself out there and tell others about something that I didn't even understand, something that didn't even make sense to me, just really made me feel physically ill, made me feel a bit mentally ill, right? It just went so against the grain of who I was, a really private person, someone who was and still is insatiably curious. And I, I mean, I didn't understand what was going on, right? I, I, I didn't. And as I got older and I learned more about myself and I just learned more about religion and different faiths, faiths, spirituality, the thought of, the, the thought of trying to convert others just became more and more unpalatable for me, you know? Which brings me to who I am today. I, I want to try to be careful with my words. I don't want to like start a whole shit show here. I does not matter to me what you believe. It really doesn't. You know, you have your own journey. I have my own journey. And I think that's beautiful. I think it's beautiful that we can all believe what we believe, you know? Um, now, I wish everyone's beliefs included no harm to others or to other beings, but that's not the case. But it's still our own journey, right? Part of my journey has been to accept me for who I am and what I believe. It's been a rough go, kind of deprogramming myself from the church <clears throat> and those beliefs. And then when I sort of did that, then I deprogrammed myself from society, society's beliefs about who I am as a woman and... <clears throat> what my life should look like and, you know, uh, letting go of the beliefs of, are the beliefs put up on me about being poor and, and quote unquote mentally ill, that sort of thing, right? I am not a debater, you know, I will <clears throat> very rarely tell people what I think that they should or should not do unless they come to me for direct advice. You know, I'll, I'll give my wisdom, but I, 
it's not my place to tell people what to do. It's not my place to tell people they're wrong because you're going to believe what you believe, you know? And I think that's beautiful, you know? My beliefs are changing. Um, I never for a hot second thought I'd get involved with deities, yet here we are, uh, just opening that door, and it's it's craziness to me, right? And I have a feeling that a whole lot of my belief system and belief structure is going to get shaken up in this, <clears throat> and that's okay with me, you know? It's okay for my belief system to change and to morph and to grow as I change and I heal <clears throat> and I come into new wisdom and new ways of being. I'm also not an arguer. I'm not very argumentative, right? If you tell me what you believe, great, you know? You know, if I don't happen to agree with that, it doesn't matter, you know? It really doesn't matter. Um, I will not push the issue. I will send you love and send you light and love or whatever. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not a debater and I'm not one to argue. So... <laughs> I know I'm trying to pussyfoot around this issue here. Uh, I'm sure, uh, okay, whatever. I'm feeling a little bit, uh, I'm feeling a little insecure here, right? Because I also don't like conflict. <laughs> I'm really conflict adverse at this point in time in my life. I am working on being confident and, you know, having just oodles of self-esteem. Not quite there yet. So I'm trying to like do this really gently. But you know what? I love each and every one of you. No matter what you tell me, no matter what your beliefs are, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna sit here and and just be loving and be kind, because that's just <laughs> who my nature is at this point in time. I don't know if I'll ever, you know. I don't know where this is all going, but any hoozles. <clears throat> all right, <laughs> enough of the awkwardness. It is a beautiful day here, and I am hoping that my partner and I are going to go into the forest today and cut down some wood. We got a permit, we got the truck going, just got to uh, check out the trailer today. Uh, last night after I went to bed, he texted me and said, oh, good morning, Snowball. Snowball, good morning. He texted me and said that he was uh, working on the chainsaws. He takes five out with him at a time. You know, he's he's hardcore into this. I I managed to, I think they call it fell. I fell three whole trees last fall and I was so freaking proud of myself because I did it all by myself and I know it's dangerous, right? So like I'd be standing around and analyzing it, walking around the tree, just... <laughs> I... I was successful and I actually managed to get them to kind of fall where I wanted them to fall. But it will be wonderful to be taught by someone who has been doing this for years and years and someone who is very safety conscious, you know, um, heating with wood. I find it to be really healing. It's, um, it's a way to live in, in reciprocity with the land for me anyways, right? And it's a way to engage in like the daily rhythm and the seasonal rhythm of the seasons that I live in here. So it's it's beautiful. I really enjoy it. So that's going to be my day today. Yeah. What else do I have to talk about today? Um, so my task sort of or this particular season of my life is just to rest. Which I think this month is a season of rest. It, you know, if you can slip in some rest every here and now, every, I didn't say that right, every now and then, you know, that's really good for our beings, right? I am being called to let go of my overthinking and my analyzing and <clears throat> just sink, deeply sink into the present. Things are working out as they should. 
there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming into my life, but things are working out as they should. And I'm also being given the opportunity to practice my faith and trust. And we'll see where this all goes. Yeah. Interesting where life takes me. You know, I've, for so, so many years, I've been calling my life, uh, like, um, Molly's soap opera. I'm on like chapter 656 by now or something. I don't know. It's, I could not make this stuff up if I wanted to. But it's turning into something that is a whole lot less f to be feared and more to be embraced, which I think is just such a sign of growth on my part. All right. I love you all so much. I love all your comments. Thank you for telling me what you believe and uh, where you stand on some issues. It took me a long, long time to get to the point where my throat chakra was open enough to even, like, let out a squeak. <laughs> and, yeah, we are all loved and we are all blessed and I am just grateful for each and every one of you. So let's just be mindful today. Be mindful of the sun, be mindful of our actions, be mindful of our words. Be mindful of our thoughts. Okay, until next time, bye.